Redesigning Red Riding Hood Part 2. So now that we have our large, hyper-exaggerated villain, the wolf, and I'm definitely going to be calling him the Big Bad Wolf because it fits, uh, it's time to design Red Rider, and she's going to be Red Rider from, from now on. Um, she will have a hood, and she will be little in comparison to the wolf, but it just it sounds better when we call her Red Rider. It harkens back to the roots of Common Rider, but we can't use Common Rider because that's copyrighted, so we're going to use Red Rider. So I'm uh, going to go through the same type of process, sketching stuff out and uh, refining that sketch into uh, some, some loose line art. And then I'm going to refine that line art further and do a, a color version of that. But that's going to be recorded separately because watching me do line art for a fifth time is real boring. And the coloring process, I don't know. If, if you guys want a more in-depth look at the coloring process of the rider or the wolf, please let me know in the comments. And... Uh, uh, I'm recording these back to back, so I don't know when they'll be put up. But if it turns out that you guys want to see a, a much more in-depth discussion of the calling process, I can do that. So, but anyway, enough uh, preamble. Let's go right into the design. All right, it's time to design Red Rider, which is basically my interpretation of Common Rider. Although most Common Riders have a theme, like they're based on bugs or animals or something like that, and I didn't quite go that direction. I was trying to think of like what is the antagonist of a wolf, the main antagonist of a wolf, or what what do wolves prey on the most? And I don't know. I, I couldn't come up with a satisfying answer, so I decided just to make a cool looking robot suit. <laughs> so here again, I'm I'm basically trying to work on proportions and trying to to get something that I think feels right for a common writer. She's gonna have a hood, so I decided to just sketch the hood on the side and incorporate that back into the silhouette after I designed the main suit. So I wanted to concentrate mostly on the main suit and a lot on the, the helmet. So eventually you're going to see me doing a lot of erasing and a lot of drawing and a lot of erasing on the helmet. <clears throat> but this first pass is, is pretty loose. Um, just trying to make sure I get shapes looking the way I think looks good. So uh, extra weight here, shaving off a little bit there, some exaggeration here, some exaggeration there. Um, it's a lot more realistic in terms of the proportions and the look than the, uh, than the wolf is, certainly. But, you know, it's still pretty stylized. And uh, now I'm going back and carving in some, some more refined details. I end up drawing these things like four or five times. Anytime you see a long pause like that, I'm usually looking up some sort of reference, either online or running around trying to catch a photo or take a photo of myself in a weird position or trying to find a toy that has a, a shape that I remember and, and looking up that stuff. So anytime there's a long pause, uh, that's usually why. And uh, I'm not quite settled on the face yet, but uh, I, I wanted to kind of get in some of these landmarks. Like eyes are big on a, on a Kamen Rider suit design. If you hear anything weird in the background, that's my cat. She's in the kitchen hunting food. So if you hear weird scratches, <laughs> that's her. <laughs> Uh, I thought I would do horns on this rider, but I eventually decided against that because the wolf is so angular and sharp and has a lot of weird ridges. I didn't want it to conflict, so. And once again, I'm going over with uh, darker lines just to sort of formalize my ideas. This helmet, man, took forever to figure out. I wanted to concentrate and nail the, the helmet design because I feel like the common Rider's personality is based in their helmet. 
if the helmet doesn't look right, the rest of the body could be amazing and it just, it just won't feel good. So I, I really needed to nail this. <laughs> I needed to nail this look. <laughs> so there's a lot of drawing, a lot of erasing, a lot of drawing. It might look like I'm drawing the same lines over and over again, and uh, you would not be incorrect in assuming some of that. But I'm trying not to be too precious with my ideas at this point. Like, if it doesn't look right, I, I'll just get rid of it, so... That chin, that chin loop just, that chin stuff wasn't working for me. And that wasn't working. <laughs> I think it does help if you uh, have a theme for your rider, like um, the bug ones, the grasshoppers and stuff like that. Those are a lot of fun because you can pull from a lot of reference and incorporate different things and, and stuff like that. If you're just kind of saying, hey, I want a cool looking helmet thing, it's a little more tricky, I feel. So I did myself a little bit of a disservice by not picking a theme. Um, but I think this chin is closer to where I wanted to get it. I think I erase it one more time. Yep, <laughs> I erase it one more time and draw it back in. But uh, I liked the, the shape that this was. <laughs> I like the shape that this was shaping up to be. I like the, the form that this was kind of shaping up to be. Um, and that that shape across the forehead to the back of the skull, that'll be fun. That'll be a nice pop color. It's either going to be black or red, depending on uh, what I end up doing with it, but that's going to be fun. A little ear detail that'll probably be hidden by the hood, but whatever. I know it's there, and you know it's there because you've been watching this. So with the face settled and the helmet settled, I go back and draw everything else for like a third or fourth time. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of give the impression that she's wearing a, a sort of leather jacket underneath the armor bits so when it comes time to render the rest of the arms you're going to see a lot of folds and stuff like that uh, one of my main influences in terms of the look was uh, the suits from Kamen Rider the first and the next I know people hate on those movies because honestly they weren't the best but I really liked the the interpretations of the suits where they felt more just like uh, leather jackets with armor bits stapled on or bolted on or something like that. So I was trying to get a similar impression here um, with the gauntlets and the the shin guards and stuff like that. Um, I wanted it to feel or kind of look like it was leather undersuit of some sort. Uh, those knee pads are always trouble. Knee pads Knee pads always give me a trouble. I always it takes me a while to figure out what I want to do with the knees. Helmets and knees, man. The rest of it, I'm I'm pretty good at just trying to figure out. But <laughs> helmets and knees, kind of like, oh, what do we do? <laughs> so you can see I added a, a bunch of the folds in the the pants and then and the, her arms right there. Gotta have pockets for the cosplayers. Gotta add in the cos <laughs> the little pockets so that they can store stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I can get lost when I'm drawing over an under sketch, so I'll turn it off just so I can 
draw some stuff without getting distracted by the other lines that I've kind of gone over and over and over and over and over and over. And here I'm extending her legs just a little bit. I feel like she's getting a little too stocky and beefy, and I was kind of looking for a more lean feel for Red Rider. Um, but I might, I might fix that again when I go back over it with uh, another design pass. And then here's the chest piece. I wanted this to kind of look like a, a BMX kind of chest protector. So it felt like a, a piece of armor instead of like a, a weird sort of leotard thing. And now I'm drawing the cape over it, over it on a, a new layer. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the off the shoulder design or if I'm going to pull it all the way back so her arms are fully exposed. Um, but this is just a an initial idea. Um, I don't know, I think covering the shoulders might muddy the silhouette a little bit. Um, and then again, as I did with the wolf, I'm adding just in some basic shadows just so I can see how the forms might look in space and their dimension and their shape and all that kind of stuff. Um, it'll look more realistic when I do another rendering of this, but this is a pretty good idea for now. And there you have it. There's our red rider standing next to, not the big bad wolf, but I like to think of it as the, the tokusatsu big bad wolf. And uh, yeah, cool. Mm. And there you have it, red rider ready to kick some big bad wolf ass. I think I might slim up her design a little bit when it comes time to, to doing the, the final line art and the coloring version. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're both in a pretty good place. Well, the wolf is definitely in a really good place. And I think Red Rider is getting there. So um, looking forward to getting these designs settled and then into ZBrush where we're going to sculpt them and then retopologize and Maya and all this good stuff. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. All right. Um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please let me know in the comments wherever you see this. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll check you later. Bye. Bye.